Hi guys. Well, the little dog and doomsday trailer survived the big blow last night. And God Almighty, I don't see a single <coughs> leak in this roof, but uh, there in the shed, <coughs> the laundry room, uh, the roof in there did not hold up quite as well as the trailer roof you might be interested in knowing. But anyway, it is now a blustery and looks like getting to be a nice sunny Sunday afternoon, December 17, 2023. So I think I'm gonna get my sunset margarita for the end times together and head down to the dock. But before we, little dog and I head out of here, I uh, just wanna share one of these Florida man videos, you know, the the Florida man stories, uh, not a video, a story, or, have become a whole genre of stories about Florida men and Florida women. And this one is from Fox News, their Florida man story of the day. Hallelujah. Florida man accused of child sex crimes could be first to be put to death under Florida's expanded death penalty law. Hallelujah, this is good old Ron DeSantis coming to the rescue again. Uh, anyway, let's just read this story from Fox News before we cheer on uh, Ron DeSantis, <clears throat> a Florida man, could be the first offender to face the death penalty under the state's new law that expanded capital punishment to include people who sexually abuse children. Joseph Andrew Giampa, age 36, was indicted Thursday for six counts of sexual battery upon a person under 12 years old and three counts of promoting a sexual performance by a child. P promoting a sexual performance by a child, according to the state attorney's office, Giampa was allegedly filmed sexually abusing a young boy. State Attorney William Gladson announced that his office will pursue the death penalty given the, quote, severity of its crime and its impact on the community. Uh, quote, the decision to pursue the highest penalty reflects the gravity of the charges in the State Attorney's Office's dedication to holding criminals accountable for their actions. Mm. The state attorney's office acknowledges the sensitivity of this matter and the impact it has on the community, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Giampa was arrested last month after the Lake County Sheriff's Office identified him as the man seen in a homemade video allegedly found on Giampa's laptop raping a young boy. According to court records, the man is heard in the video saying he knows the boy did not enjoy the abuse, but that he, quote, likes it more when he does not like it. Close quote. The slime bag motherfucker has pleaded not guilty in the case. The heightened penalty for sex crimes in Florida comes after Republican Governor Ron DeSantis signed two bills into law this past spring expanding capital punishment. DeSantis signed a bill in April allowing the death penalty when the jury reaches an 8-4 to four decision to recommend capital punishment. Florida and Alabama are now the only two states that allow death sentences when a jury fails to reach a unanimous recommendation and may 
the governor signed another bill expanding capital punishment in the state to allow the death penalty for some sexual crimes against children. If Giampa is given the death penalty, he would be the first offender who committed sex crimes against children to be sentenced to death. Okay. This is your old former little limp dick lefty snowflake uh, coming at you at, at age 64. First talking about Ron DeSantis. You know, Ron DeSantis already became my hero down here when he was offering Florida as the oasis of freedom during the corona panic. When I, you know, going back and forth from New York to Florida, two different planets. Oasis of Freedom is exactly what Florida was, all during that bullshit corona panic. Uh, hell yes, Ron DeSantis, you did provide an oasis of freedom for anybody with a fucking brain who does not live their entire lives in fear. Uh, so he got his first uh, high marks with his um, former limp dick lefty snowflake and uh, hallelujah. Uh, now, now Ron DeSantis, despite what some limp dick lefties would say, it's not stupid. He knows goddamn well. Ron DeSantis knows goddamn well <clears throat> that it's never going to happen. Ain't going to happen. The guy is not going to be put to death because in this little lefty, limp dick uh, country that we live in, uh, the Constitution ain't, you know, you don't have to dig very far into the Constitution to know if you want to go around raping little boys, raping little girls, that there is no way that the little limp dick lefties uh, are, are, are going to let it happen. Okay. Uh, but, but Ron DeSantis, I, I mean, he's simply making a statement that more and more people are getting sick and tired uh, of these fucking scumbags uh, like, like this guy uh, walking around. So enough of Ron DeSantis. Now for folks like this, uh, you, know, I, 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 you know, I never understood, I've had this rant how many times, <clears throat> even when I was a, a little limp dick lefty snowflake, I never understood the whole anti-capital punishment shit going along with my fellow little limp dick lefty snowflakes. I never understood why it was a limp dick lefty snowflake issue. Is anybody with a fucking brain? Uh, you know, my mother, uh, she was, you know, queen of the lefties. The, of the Southern white liberals, uh, Elaine Mitchell, she never fucking understood it either. Uh, you know, what does this have to do with left or right? It, it's, uh, it, it's you have a, a, a moral compass uh, that you understand <clears throat> the basic difference between right or wrong. You rape a child, you fucking die. What you know? What possible good is it doing? You know, this has nothing to do with the doomosphere. I'm just talking, just normal human, uh, just just human nature. Uh, like, like, what the fuck? Uh, what does this motherfucker have to offer uh, society, this plant, you know what I'm saying, on any fucking level, 
I think what they should do, they should cut his fucking dick off, stuff it down his fucking mouth, and let him choke to death on his own fucking dick. Uh, is, is what I think the punishment uh, for raping a child should be. Uh, you know, get rid of the fucking scumbag. Uh, uh, get rid of this goddamn shit stain uh, off the face of the fucking planet. Uh, you know, these goddamn little limp dick lefties, and I know several of them uh, listening uh, to this rant who are personal friends of mine, uh, I, I just don't fucking get it. Uh, why, why you support the, this motherfucking scumbag uh, taking another fucking breath on the uh, on, on, on this planet? And, and you know, it's, it's the same goddamn little limp dick lefty snowflakes going around preaching this fucking noble savage myth bullshit com coming out of their fucking mouths about how these fucking Native Americans, there's no such thing as a Native American, how these fucking first wave uh, of invasive planet-eating uh, alien invaders uh, are, 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 are somehow living in fucking uh, balance and harmony with this fucking planet. Uh, you know, it's the same fucking little limp dick lefties talking about these goddamn noble savages uh, what do you think these motherfucking noble savages would have done with this motherfucker? That, that if, if there's one area where those bloodthirsty savages were fucking noble, I guarantee fucking to you, Geronimo, Sitting Bull, uh, pick your pick your noble savage. Uh, they would have taken this motherfucker. Uh, they, they, they would have yanked him up by his fucking dick, uh, hauled him off to the, you know, out there to the edge of the village, uh, hung him by his fucking balls off of a saguaro cactus, and, and, and let the fucking buzzards peck him to death. That's exactly what these fucking noble savages would have done, and good for them. It's the noble thing to do, it, it, is to kill uh, these fucking evil slime bags. Uh, it, you know, once again, we need more capital punishment on this fucking planet, not less. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I, I hope his fellow goddamn prisoners do, uh, you know, put the goddamn criminal justice system to work. Every time I read about, you know, these other scumbags in prison killing one of these motherfuckers like this douchebag, you know, I cheer them on. It's the only time I see the criminal justice system in this country working it, 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 it's when these fucking animals uh, in, in, in these prisons kill each other, uh, which is the highest and best use for, for a violent criminal is to let them kill other violent criminals. It, it, you know, it, it's, it's like that Richard Pryor. Uh, in, I've had this rant a hundred times before. It, it, it's my single favorite Richard Pryor routine. I'm sure you can find it uh, over here on YouTube uh, on one of his last comedy specials where he had, uh, you, you know, he had just gotten back from performing in, in a prison and, and Richard Pryor was talking about uh, before he went in there that, that how he was one of these little limp dick lefty snowflakes going in there to support the brothers. He was going in there to support the brothers from the man and all of this. And, and, and he went in there. Richard Pryor spent about two fucking hours uh, in, in, in a goddamn maximum security prison. And I keep those motherfuckers in there. You know, there's a reason that they built fucking prisons. Although I think bullets are a hell of a lot cheaper uh, than prisons. 
Uh, fuck, put a bullet through these motherfuckers' heads. At least Richard Pryor was on the right fucking track uh, after meeting some of the brothers. Uh, yeah, keep those motherfuckers locked up tight and, and, and give them all fucking knives and, and let them kill each other. You know? Uh, put the fuckers to work. But anyway, with that, what do you think, little dog? Are you ready to pour a margarita and go out a margarita? It looks like it's getting to be a beautiful sunset like that. Now that we've cheered on Ron DeSantis, what do you think of Ron DeSantis? Would you like to give Ron DeSantis a big kiss? Let's all give Ron DeSantis a big kiss. Anyway... And, and, and uh, you, you wonder why the limp dick lefties are uh, going to go down in flaming defeat again. Uh, anyway, enough of my goddamn limp dick lefty. Uh, you know, every day it gets more and more embarrassing to be able to call myself a lefty. Where did you go to the dock? Bye, guys.